Scions have an incredible backstory that not many players know about. If you jump into the game now, you see Scions as part of the Cabal, when in fact they were their own species forced into the Cabal Empire long ago. Recently, some knowledge that released in Witch Queen has been confirmed in Season of the Haunted, and this predicts the end of the city as we know it. Today let's talk about the ancient Scions and the predictions they've made about our doom. So before we get into these predictions about our end, let's dive into the backstory a little bit about this super intelligent species and where they came from. You can of course skip ahead if you'd like. Ancient Scions were much different than the militarized ones we see across our system. This rare species have telekinetic powers or mind powers and can communicate with just their minds, able to sense beings and thoughts in close proximity. These ancient beings had their own form of religion basically, and worshipped an object called the Y-Goblet. From the lore book called Confessions released in Season of Opulence, it explains these creatures and how they worshipped. Some of the first Scions believed that this goblet cupped their spirits, as they say, and poured the life into the future Scion generations. They would also give offerings to this goblet for these ancestors. Each card had different offerings like salt for their skin, water for their eyes, or praise for their leaders. I explained how I worshipped my ancestors and the sacred chalice that cupped their spirits. I admitted that I had put these beliefs before him in my heart. He listened as I told him how the ancient god thoughts of my people, the apparent overlords who dominated our prehistory by sheer mental penetration, had exterminated my faith for daring to see a spark of divine in every common person. From that entry, we can see that there is a group called the god thoughts. These were overlords who would dominate the scion species and ruled over them. The Scions as a group believed that each person had a divine spark inside them, that they all sort of shared this connection and could become one, but these overlords did not like this and would torment them through these mind powers and mental torture. Throughout those processes, the Y-Goblet was destroyed. Eventually, the Scions would be found by the Cabal and enslaved to their armies. Under Cabal reign, they would build many machines like the Oxa Machine, a device capable of predicting both past and future. This specific device was destroyed and rebuilt many times at many different locations and moons, and throughout time, Scions would grow higher among the ranks of the Cabal. Some became high officials like Freeborn Adzat, and others became skilled pilots and scouts. After the Cabal homeworld was destroyed last year before Season of the Chosen, Kaido would free the Scions and allow them to roam wherever they please, no longer enslaved to the Cabal species. Now this sounds good, it, it is good because you know they're free to do whatever they want, but it also could be bad because certain groups would form like the Conclave which would take the side of the darkness and Emperor Kallus, turning away from Kaido and her new legion. This brings us up to those predictions starting in Witch Queen. In the Vox Obscura mission, rogue scions were broadcasting messages to others to join their cause in the side of the darkness under Callus. Because Keitel didn't want to get involved and show her location, she sent in the Guardians to stop the broadcast and learn the messages they were sending. I've made a video before talking about the Vox Obscura mission and what's going on in it, but these messages are super important. The first one was one where a Cabal army was seen standing before a giant statue of Kallus and a pyramid ship. That was back when Witch Queen released, and a season later in Haunted, guess what? It actually happened, or is about to at least. In this current season, we have confirmation that Kallus is working with the Witness as a disciple. Some may have also heard this next entry, but it talks about those ancient scions we talked about a couple of minutes ago. Take a listen. A religious ceremony. It's in the far past, so distant, before their assimilation into the Cabal. The feeling is difficult, I know it well. Something like militant nostalgia. The ritual leader, an elder, is speaking about how the spark of divinity exists in all of us. How we are unified beyond death. 
an eternal chorus. It's peaceful and utter nonsense. Those beliefs were brutally subjugated by the Scions themselves long before we conquered them. And now, here is the last broadcast, number four. This is the one where Scions try and predict the future and what we're going to discuss afterwards. This latest transmission from Eurix shows the same images over and over, flashing almost too quickly to perceive. They are indistinct, as if multiple pictures were laid atop one another, variations on a theme. Ah. These must be psionic divinations, impressions of things yet to come. I never dreamed I would see them for myself. I, I see a city besieged, a ship stealer revived, the Leviathan reborn. Your traveler infected by darkness. These are the futures our enemies seek. So we are given four statements. A city besieged, ship stealer revived, Leviathan reborn, and traveler infected by darkness. Out of these four, one seems to have already happened in Haunted, the Leviathan reborn in darkness. This leaves the other three. First up, a city besieged. Some city is surrounded by forces and they are trying to take it over. That's the definition of besieged. Is this the last city, the dreaming city, and who is invading? If Bungie does continue vaulting locations, the dreaming city could be next. So perhaps that's the city they're talking about. That or this could be Lightfall. Next, a ship stealer revived. We've talked about this one many times and it has to involve with Aramis being revived on Europa. When you think about it, this would be an interesting fit with Rasputin if he was included within this season. Re-entering the Deepstone Crypt to stop Aramis from whatever she's after. Maybe she's trying to become an Exo. All the while, we try and save Big Red and put him in a body of his own. In regards to the Warmind, in Witch Queen, it mentioned a place called the Nephili Stronghold. So, could this be tied in somehow as well? Is this a city besieged? And the last one there, Traveler Infected by Darkness. This one clearly seems to be Lightfall or a season leading up to it. Maybe at the end of one of these seasons, the Traveler becomes infected, but my guess would be Lightfall itself. For this year of Destiny 2, we've had two of the four seasons, meaning that there's two left to explore. We had Risen, Haunted, and then there are these two. If that's the case, could this possibly be the order? Risen, Haunted, a city besieged, and then Ship Stealer revived. In my personal opinion, if these are true, the predictions that is, it would be Risen, Haunted, the Aramis and Rasputin season, and then a city besieged. Getting captured and leading up to the Traveler getting infected by the Darkness in the Lightfall expansion. But leave your own theories below. Before we wrap up, it's worth noting these are Scion predictions about the future. They may not come true, but given one has and Bungie likes to tease future content, you never know. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. If you enjoyed this one and would like to see some more mysteries and lore just like it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.